We took our entire family, all the kids and grandkids, on a Disney Florida vacation. It took six months, at least, to plan that trip. We knew when and where we were flying from, how we were getting people from different cities. We knew what resort we were gonna stay in. We knew which park we were gonna visit on each day. We planned special meals, transportation, photographs, and on and on the planning went. And we had the most wonderful time for one week. You see, we spend more time and effort planning a one to two week vacation than we do our entire lives. Where do you think you would be today if you spent that much time and effort just planning your life? There was a poll taken by DHM Research that found that 67% of Americans are just letting life happen. That means they have no vision of what they want to achieve in their life, where they want to go, where they want their life to end up. They have no defined destination for their life. And that means that two thirds of all of you in here today are just letting life happen. So what is your wildest dream? Have you ever just sat down and dreamed about what you really want to achieve in your life and what you really want to accomplish? When we we're kids, we always dream about what we wanted to be when we grew up. I wanted to be an astronaut. One day I was walking with my grandson, Connor. He was probably seven or eight years old. We were walking along and I looked down at him and I said, Connor, what do you want to be when you grow up? He got real quiet and we kept walking and I could tell he was thinking really hard. And finally he turned and he looked up at me and he said, I'm not sure. It's a hard decision. <laughs> yeah. It's a hard decision for us adults, too. As we go through life, we have those dreams and we have those plans as a kid, but as we go through life, we end up settling for what we think we can achieve and what we think we're able to accomplish in our life. And we settle for a life that maybe is less than what we truly want. You know, maybe you had a vision to be a nurse or a teacher or a manager, a business owner. And you jumped in, you worked really hard and you learned a lot and you advanced and you grew in your position. Maybe you got some promotions and you grew and you advanced. And then you became frustrated with where you were at. Maybe you got more responsibilities without much more compensation and you became burnt out, stuck in that position. You were frustrated with the job that you have, frustrated with your life, frustrated with your income. And so you sit there and you're just stuck in your life and you don't know what to do and, and you ask yourself the question, how did I get here? Well, we have to know where we're going in our life. We have to be able to, to know what that plan is that we want to accomplish in our life. We have to have a dream and a vision of where we want to go. Yogi Berra said, if you don't know where you're going, how will you know when you get there? So it comes down to knowing what you want in your life and where you want to get to. And once you have defined that vision of the life that you want, and what you want to accomplish, you know, it's really as simple as having a vision of the life that you want. And the simplicity is just having the right goals with the right plan that will lead you to the right career or the right business for you that will give you the life that is right for you.